Okay, so me, my name is Erica. I am 26 years old. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in psychology from Spelman College and a master's of public health from Mercer University. So I have a very interesting hair journey. I feel like I have transitioned for years and I mean like six, seven years. And I say that because I've, I've tried to do this twice. Um, so I went to Spelman College and when I got there it seemed like it was a, a natural hair movement. Natural was in, um, I met a bunch of you know lovely girls there that sported natural hair and I had never done that in my life. Um, I'd always had naturally thick hair but when I turned about 10 I was like I'm ready to put a perm on it. I can't do this thick hair. Um, so I permed it and I used to just keep that routine all the way up to college, um, perms and wraps, perms and wraps. And when I got there, everybody was sport natural, I thought it was nice, so then I thought I'll try it. So during that time, I met one of my best girlfriends, Taylor, and she was a hairstylist. And so she told me that going natural wouldn't be hard, I would just need to do some transition hairstyles and just don't get a perm. So that's what I did. Um, the first month was cool. I would do uh, bantu knots. Um, sometimes I would try to do twist outs, um, flat twists, just anything that I could do to transition. The first month was okay. I was able to do it. I was <laughs> taking pictures, posting, like I'm going natural. And then it got to maybe the second month. And um, <laughs> I was looking in the mirror one day and I just was like, what, what else am I supposed to do? I'm tired of doing bad food knots. It's starting to look a little funny because my roots are, are thick and my <laughs> my hair was straight. I just, I wasn't feeling it. So then I decided to perm my hair again. And then I was back to perms and wraps, perms and wraps. But about 2016, which is two years ago, um, I would gotten my hair did and I permed my hair maybe two weeks before that so I can get a sew in. And I got the sew in and after that I just never permed my hair again. Why? I don't know. Um, I didn't even think in my mind at the time, you're going natural. It's just something that I just stopped doing. And then maybe six months in is when I realized like, oh I haven't permed my hair, I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to finally go natural. So I'm processing this natural journey again, and I'm like, I'm older now, you know. Um, I'm out here doing my own thing. Going natural wouldn't be hard. But this time, I'm gonna do it differently. The transition hairstyles did not work for me, and I was completely terrified of the big chop. That was something that I was not doing. I, I wasn't doing it. Um, so I went back to my best girlfriend, and at this time, she has a salon suite. And um, we were making wigs braids, um, I was wearing, you know, full sew-ins, different things like that so that I could let my natural hair grow out. Um, so maybe after, maybe after about a year of that, of wearing wigs and, you know, um, sew-ins, things like that, I finally decided, okay, I think my hair is long enough for me to cut it. Now, it wasn't long, um, but it wasn't short either. I was just comfortable with the length. So we cut it, and when we cut it, it, it was great. I, I felt free. <laughs> I was excited. I just couldn't believe I did it, especially cut my hair because, y'all, when I was getting perms, I decided one year I wanted to cut my hair into a short hairstyle. Everybody said, don't do what I did. I wasn't going to like it. I did it and kept it in for a week, so... I knew short hair wasn't for me, but I was happy and it looked so beautiful. Um, it was like a cute little fro. Um, and then my friend, she blew it out and when she blew it out, 
it was long so i was i was comfortable and i was happy with it and i was finally natural naturally natural e um this is a fun vlog i'm still trying to learn how to do things with my hair um i'm not a natural hair care and natural hair stylist or nothing like that um this is still completely new for me so what this vlog is supposed to do is teach me while teaching you my viewers um how to do hairstyles how to plan some makeup um and just different beauty tips things like that for natural hair you know girls um and, and girls who are still, you know, going through the transition with their hair, still learning how to do hairstyles. Um, so that's what this vlog is all about. I will be doing hairstyles. Um, I will also be trying out different makeup things. Once I really learn how to <laughs> piece these videos together, um, I'm going to be, you know, trying to do makeup tutorials along with the makeup tutorials. Um, just different things like that. Um, so that I can grow as well as my viewers grow. Alright y'all, so this is our first natural encounter with Naturally Natural E. Um, I've enjoyed sharing my journey with you and I hope that you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that we can learn together. Um, again, this is Naturally Natural E. You can find me on Instagram at Naturally Natural E, N-A-T-U-R-A-L-L-Y, N-A-T-U-R. A L capital E. The whole thing. Okay. All right. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, and be sure to tune into my next video. <laughs> what? So thank you guys so much for tuning in to my first video. Please make sure you tune in again so that you can see me be naturally naturally.